the Canadian Card Collector here, and welcome back to day 102 of your daily deck review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today is the Cactus Standard Playing Cards from Cactus Playing Cards. So, with no further ado, let's take a look and see what we get. Here we have the Standard Glossy Finish Tuck Box here. It says Cactus Standard here, designed by Jaren by locker there you got the blue like spade design there in the middle you kind of got like a white background with like a red kind of border design here it says saguro or something like that along the side there the other side says sunset red on the bottom it says distributed by cactus plant cards and then made in the usa on the back you got a sneak peek of the back design there's no seal for this deck on the top, it says Adventure Awaits. And then on the little, like, tuck flap here, you got kind of like a little sunrise kind of design there with a star. And then on the little tuck flaps here, you got a three and a spade. I mean, a three and a club for, like, a three of clubs reveal there. Well, now that we took a look at the tuck box here, time to take a look at the cards. But before we take a look at the cards, the inside tuck box is just plain white. Nothing too fancy going on inside there. Now that we took a look at the tuck box, actually that time, we'll take a look at the cards, and first we'll start with the back design here. Here we have like a bicycles inspired back design here, with that circle design there in the middle, with like a nighttime theme with a cactus, the stars, and a moon there. Then you got a bunch of white like dot design around there, and then you got like the that like border design here. Looks like a couple clubs on each side there. You got the cactuses in the corners there. And then you got the standard white border around there. It's like a thin white border. Now for the cards you get. You get two identical jokers here. With a cactus there in the desert here. And they both say joker. And then you got the stars there. Well, I thought they were both identical. No, nope, but this one has a little two of clubs like reveal there at the bottom. So pretty much identical. Other than that like little card there on the second joker there. And then you get like a a double kind of like a little gaff card of a joke the jack of clubs here it kind of looks like it has like a bunch of sand on it right there and then you got a double backer of the back design here now for the custom ace of spades here you got it says cactus standard right underneath and then you got that blue spade the same design you've seen on the front of the tuck box there and then for the rest of the spades here, they're pretty much like a standard style spade here. They look slightly custom for the, like, this deck here. They're not like the standard spade design, but they look slightly custom, so they're on slightly custom design here. And then you got the jack, queen, and king of, of spades here. The standard court cards and standard faces, pretty much. They're slightly custom. Like, they got a little bit of custom to it, because they got, like, that, like, star pattern kind of within their, like, clothing there so they are custom and they got the red and blue colorway there so they are like custom but pretty standard at the same time there and the diamonds you got a slight di custom like diamond like suit and pip there and that are bright red colorway and the same thing with the jack queen and king of, of diamonds here the court cards look pretty standard but still custom like their own custom design there in that red and like blue and like yellow colorway the same thing with the clubs with the jack queen and king of clubs pretty standard faces but still slightly customized in their own style in that same way like red and blue colorway with a little bit of yellow and for the clubs are pretty like standard looking clubs there nothing too crazy going on and then for the hearts here, the Jack, Queen, and King of Hearts, pretty like standard. They're on the, still like their own design here. They're pretty standard. Yeah, in that same red, blue, and yellow colorway there. And then for the hearts, you got like this pretty standard looking hearts there. Nothing too crazy going on. In that bright red colorway. Well, now that we took a look at the cards, time to test the handling. And first, we'll start with the springs.
Oh, and then on the back of the jack of clubs here, also has a bunch of like, sand on it. So it's like sand on both sides here. Look back to the springs. Well, this deck is like they spring pretty like normally here. No issues there. There's no like clumpiness to it. So they feel nice and smooth. They're a little bit thicker of a card when you first start springing them. So they are like thicker, like a thicker stock. So you have to put a little bit more pressure into being able to spring them and like bend them. But other than that, no issues there. Now for the fans. Here you can see they spread nice and evenly here. You can see all the different pips. There's no issues there. There's no clumpiness or stickiness to the cards, which is nice. And one thing I didn't mention, but the back design here is in a red and white colorway there. Now for the, the pharaoh. A nice smooth ferrule there, no issues there, and they intertwine nice and evenly there, like perfectly even. So nice and smooth. Now for the giant fan of the back design. Now for that reverse ferrule. Not bad, but not great. It did it did fail pretty like easily, but like still had to put a little bit of pressure and it felt a little bit of clumpiness to that fair. And they didn't interlock like as smooth, but they still worked pretty good. Now for a giant fan of the face cards. Now for the Riffle Shuffle or Bridge Shuffle. Well, the waffle shuffles and bridge shuffles are pretty smooth here. There's not really, like, too much to complain. They're a thicker card, like stock. So they do, like, riffle like, more smoothly. There's not like, too, many, too much clumpiness. There's a little bit. If you, like, mess up, like, the, the bridge part or the riffle part. If you mess up the riffle part, it could be a little bit clumpy. But other than that, they're pretty smooth. No issues there. Now for a few packet cuts. Well, these cards, I guess, are a little bit slippery when doing packet cuts. So try. Be careful of that, because you could drop them. And now for the one-handed cut, or surely a cut. Well, there's no issues with the handling too much, or the pack cuts. They're pretty normal like every other deck. 
Well, some decks are just slipperier than others, so they could slip with your hands when doing any type of packet cuts. Well, now on to the dribble. Well, we've got some pretty smooth dribbles here. Not too much issues with the dribbles at all. Now for that spread fan. And lastly, spread the cards on the table. Well, overall, a nice, pretty simplistic design here. No, there's nothing wrong with the design here. They're nice and simple. Nice back design. Nice face cards. And great handling. There's no issues with the handling. I felt, I felt nothing wrong with the handling whatsoever. And a great, like, simplistic design in the tuck box here. So, anyways, this has been day 102 of your daily deck review. This has been. The Cactus Standard Playing Cards from a little focusing. Oh, by Cac. Oh, anyways, it's by Cactus Playing Cards, and I'm the Canadian Card Collector. Signing out. See you next time. Bye.